Hey guys, I'm Thomas. And I'm Melissa. And we are Home on the Hitch. Welcome. We travel around the country in our RV trying to find ways to make every moment count. Because tomorrow is not guaranteed. So if this sounds like you or you're interested in RV travel. Well, hang out with us for a little while. Let us answer some questions today. Uh, we're going to dive a little bit. I've been experimenting with some RV transport stuff, trying to figure out how these RVs get from the manufacturers in Indiana down to wherever they're going. So that's what we're going to be uh, getting into a little bit today. So stick around. lost 
their jobs and, and uh, lost their ability to, to pay their bills. So a lot of people, you know, people that had trucks uh, or the ability to, to kind of make it happen jumped into the industry, um, which has flooded the driver market and, and then next thing you know you, you had you know basically all kinds of drivers and nothing to drive or tow um, so that industry has kind of it's kind of slowed way 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 down um, more than normal uh, but it is picking back up these cute little houses down through here So we did make it here to Napanee, Napanee, Indiana. Here at the hotel. Uh, didn't film any more while I was driving because it's just a long drive. But um, got all my paperwork printed out and we are all saddled up for in the morning. So what I'm gonna do is get up in the morning and we will take off to the yard where the, uh, the travel trailer is that we're taking uh, to Alabama. And we'll go from there. But so we're gonna grab a gonna grab a quick night to sleep. But what's pretty funny is if you look around here, there's nothing but trucks and guys that are hooked up ready to start hauling tomorrow morning. You can see all the all the trucks. The other side is, is just the same, nothing but three quarter ton and one ton trucks all the way around. This guy's even got a rig. It's a pretty nice looking Forest River impression there. That's all hitched up. It's like he's ready to go for tomorrow. All right, so we'll see you guys in the morning. All right, guys, good morning. It is the next day. Real quick, so I'm on my way over here to the uh, little lot to pick this thing up, this uh, travel trailer up. And you you go by all these little lots where things are stored up here because they make so much stuff or whatever. But this is pretty cool. Check it out. These are all chassis um, that are sitting out here. These are dually chassis. I, Lord, they could be made into anything, really. All kinds of them in there. It's crazy. All right. So let's get on over here and get on the road. All right. So we are here in this giant pickup lot. Uh, and this is where really, this is one of the bigger lots, I think. Because you got a lot of companies that transport out of here. But we'll flip it around. And there's just row after row of all these units. Way down there through those, uh, you can see there's a bunch of Class C's down there. This thing is probably five football fields, six football fields big. So I believe this hideout right here, though, is the one that we're looking for. So what I'm going to do is I've got to just to verify the... VIN number and all the paperwork will get hooked up and, and uh, pulled out of the way so we can take a look at it, make sure everything's okay, and uh, go, we'll get on the road. But yeah, try to get a little bit more footage of this yard. So yeah, all right, we are loaded up, heading out with this guy, but it's just row after row of campers now. So at least in this lot, there's a lot of campers. These are all travel trailers on this end, but if we get down here, let's see if we can make this turn. Bunch of class Bs, 
another line down there some class A's all these RVs man got to get somewhere Alright, so we are underway. Uh, so what I'm going to do, we're taking this one from up here in Goshen, Indiana, down to uh, Madison, Alabama, to a camper's inn uh, down there. Uh, and then it's only just a couple hours from there back home. But this, uh, God, this road is bumpy. Wow. I Okay, hold on. <laughs> it was, I guess, the side that, that came off. So the tread didn't, like, come off and destroy the camper. Um, and that's the big fear. Oh, <laughs> Alright. So now that we're not jumping up and down. So, yes. The one thing that kind of freaks me out about this whole thing is tires. Um the tires that these companies put on these some or some of them um, put on these new trailers and RVs man they are like some brands that I've never even heard of this is my so my like my second trip and the first trip I took down to uh, North Carolina I'm gonna throw in some pictures here of uh, what happened these are Westlake tires uh, and the whole sidewall separated and came off the tire going down the interstate. Luckily, it, you know, I was I was looking and saw the smoke um, start to bellow out behind the camper, and I pulled over and was able to change the tire. I had to do it on the side of the interstate, which was kind of uncomfortable, but uh, luckily one of the uh, police officers pulled up and kind of blocked the lane for me, so that was that was good. But yeah, man, like this Keystone that I'm pulling right now, this um, hideout, I believe it is. It's, it's a tandem axle with like some E-rated tires that I've never even heard the name of the brand. Um, so hopefully that's, that's you know, your biggest thing is you're just kind of hoping that these, these uh, Maypop tires they put on here are going to last the you know, five or six hundred miles, you gotta get get them to the wherever they're going. But all right, guys, good morning. We are about 30 45 minutes away from where we're going to drop this off at Campers Inn. Uh, we are in still in Tennessee, but we're just going right inside Alabama. So that's what we're gonna do this morning drop this thing off and get home. So, so far. We're doing all right, but here's a look at the one we're hauling. This is hideout by Keystone. That's 40 feet long, so it's a pretty long trailer. And it's a dry weight of about 9,300 pounds. All right, here we go. 65 southbound. Let's follow this black bed right here. Turn left to I-65 South. Huntsville. You've got it. Let's do it. Welcome to Alabama. There's a big old space rocket on the right hand side. That's a guy I want to lower. Yeah, yeah. USA, baby. Coming into Huntsville, Alabama. It's a big rocket. Should have stopped there to see that. Maybe next time. Maybe next time, everybody. All right, guys. So we are here at Camper's Inn in Madison, Alabama. And we are all set to go behind me. At the hideout back there, which is, let's see, let's, hold on. Flip around. So right over there is that hideout we just dropped off. Got another guy pulled up with a uh, brand design behind me. But uh, Camper's Inn is always real fast, real quick, checking in. Nicest people, so let's go home. 
All right, guys, that's going to do it for this one. Hope you enjoyed it. Give us a thumbs up, subscribe. Hit that like button. Yep, hit the notification bell so you don't miss a thing. And we'll see you on the next video. That's going to do it here. Till next time, take care of each other, love each other. And make every moment count. Right, see you next time.